Good morning. It's April 7th, 2011. Welcome to another episode of the Time Pressured Extreme Day Hiker. Today we are hiking in Mills River, North Carolina. We're going to be um, looking at a different section of trails. Uh, we're going to be hiking on the Vineyard Gap Trail, and we're going to be coming back on the Riverside Trail, and we should hike about six miles. The weather should be... So the hike starts out with some significant uphill climbs, and then we follow the ridge with some ups and downs, like right here, and then we go straight downhill all the way down to the riverbed, and we follow the river all the way around, which remains pretty flat, except for five crossings, and back to the parking area. We've already gained some elevation as we continue on the early parts of our trail hike. And all you gluttons for punishment, don't despair. There's plenty of agonizing hill climbs on this ridge trail. Spring has not fully sprung yet, so there's still some really good views off the ridge. Stella and I have been traveling along the ridge now uh, in a fairly stable elevation for some time, which is kind of nice. We can relax a little bit. But we're still trying to keep a really good pace here, so I'm a little out of breath. Uh, one thing I would like to show you today, the new gadget, is this uh, folding knife. Uh, it's got a razor sharp edge here that's uh, really good for cutting down branches that are in your way on a trail. Looks kind of like a swing blade. Mm, some people, mm, some people call it a Kaiser blade. Mm. But uh, I'll show you how useful this can be over here. So like in this uh, branch here that's overhanging the trail. Pretty easy work of that. And we're starting to head downhill as we get closer to the river. The only thing I don't like about the Canon SD 4500 camera is <clears throat> that the on off button is exactly where the record button ought to be. And uh, it seems like nine times out of ten, I turn the camera off when I really want to make a movie. Other than that, I really love the camera. Well, and here we are, coming on the river. Hopefully, we'll figure out how we're supposed to cross. Yeah, about that crossing, huh? Huh. There's where the trail continues. Uh, some old socks drying on a tree. Further evidence that this is not a dry crossing. One thing I do plan for on these hikes is water. And so I usually pack some extra plastic bags to uh, put my cameras in when I do any kind of river crossing. We don't want to ruin any gear unnecessarily. All right, let's do this. It's cold mountain stream water. It's really beautiful out here. Okay, well that was refreshing. Let's get back on with the trail.
Okay, so the thing is, when you come across the river here, um, Riverside Trail does not exactly hit Vineyard Gap Trail, so we know that it follows along the river in that direction, um, but it should be up the hill further, so we're, I'm going to just head up away from the river until we hit the trail, which it has to be there. And there is a trail marker up here in this tree, so that's encouraging. Oh, and there's a trail marker next to it, so we did, using our logic skills, find the trail and we'll follow it this way along the river. Okay, what have we here? No, I don't think so, Stella. <laughs> okay, we're pretty excited here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's gonna be cold again. Ah. Boy, that feels great on the feet. <laughs> and onward we go again. All right, well, maybe I spoke too soon, huh? No, let's not cross again. Pretty swift. Stella's trying to be pretty calm about the whole thing. It doesn't help to panic. There's an old railroad tie. Okay, well, onward with what should be our final and dry leg of our hike. The Mills River Trail System is very well blazed. Here's the takeoff of uh, Bradley Creek Trail. And we're almost done with our hike now. We're going to take our cut off to the footbridge so we don't have to do river crossing number six. Hello. And here we are. Back to the parking area. Okay, that took three and a half hours today. Beautiful weather. Five stream crossings. Could have made six. We could have made any number of stream crossings, really. But uh, beautiful trail. And for those of you who really want to try your hand at some stream crossings, great place to go. Those of you who want to stay dry, probably try the other side of Mills River where you've got the two swinging bridges and no stream crossings that are mandatory. So, from Stella and I, thanks for watching another episode of the Time Pressured Extreme Day Hiker, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. That was a good hike, wasn't it?